Today we're in the Murray Sunset National Park, which is over 630,000 hectares and it's located in the far northwest region of the state, which is known as the Mallee region. And the reason we're here is to start investigating how fauna respond to fire in the Mallee. We took our, our volunteers out this morning to the pitfall lines, which we've got down in the park. Um, we've got 13 out, 13 lines. Each line has 10 pitfall buckets. Um, so along, you put your 10 buckets along 50 metre length uh, and you've got a drift fence that lungs, runs along the top of it. Uh, and this catches any reptiles or small mammals that might be walking across the habitat and they'll hit the fence walk along it and then fall into a bucket and that's where we collect them. Uh, so the pitfall trapping that we're doing is looking at the relationships between terrestrial fauna and time since fire in the particular vegetation communities and we're focusing on two vegetation communities today. Uh, we're looking in Kenapod Mallee which is the Mallee eucalypts that I mentioned before which are, have an understory of Kenapods which are salt bushes and blue bushes uh, and then we're also looking in Spinifex Mallee communities where we have again eucalypt mallees over the top and a ground layer which is dominated by the Spinifex which is a very spiky prickly type of grass that occurs in the Mallee. This project builds upon a previous project uh, done by La Trobe and Deakin Universities. Um, they developed models uh, for a lot of these species to work out um, how they respond to fire. So you might have a species that prefers newly burnt vegetation and as that vegetation ages and becomes more mature they can't find uh, the necessary resources and exit from that type of habitat. Whereas you might get another species that prefers mature vegetation where it's been uh, decades and decades since it's burnt. So when the previous project was conducted um, it was under years of drought conditions. So now we've had two years of good rainfall and we want to see how um, this contributes to species abundance and occurrence in the landscape. So the monitoring that we're doing uh, today is just one component of the bigger Mallee Hawkeye project which involves bird surveys, the pitfall trapping that we're doing at the moment, uh, looking at habitat and how it changes with time since fire and we're also looking at the impact of uh, herbivores, so grazers, for instance kangaroos, goats and rabbits, on the post-fire regeneration of that vegetation. We're hoping that we can better inform how prescribed burning is undertaken in the Mallee and we're hoping that we can use it to in actually enhance the biodiversity of the area, so increase the number and abundance of species uh, just by making minor changes and refining our understanding so that in the future maybe we can make the Mallee a more sustainable environment.